Hey everyone, Tara Melton here with Magnet Forensics. Today we're talking about Instagram warrant returns, so I will be showing you how to process and analyze that data within your examination. At the time of this video in Axiom version 3.10, we currently support the processing of Apple, Facebook, Google, Instagram, and Snapchat warrant returns. There are tons of benefits for law enforcement examiners to process this data in Axiom. It makes it really easy to access the available data as artifacts within your case, alongside other evidence sources that you might have. Alright, so I'm in Axiom process with my case details already filled out. I'm going to go over to evidence sources, and I'll choose cloud, and then load evidence, and then Instagram. Once you click on warrant returns, all you need to do is point to the zip file that contains the warrant return information. It, it will be added as an evidence source in your case. Now if you'd like, you can add and process additional evidence sources if you have any and run additional processes against this data such as Magnet AI or keyword searching. I'm going to switch over to Axiom Examine so we can see what this data looks like. Under the cloud category, you can see we have specific artifacts dedicated to parsing this information for you. In this sample, you'll see account actions, direct shares, and photos. But you may also get additional information in your Instagram warrant return data, such as comments or stories or followers. My colleague here at Magnet, Jessica Hyde, actually wrote a blog detailing the data that you might see in your Instagram warrant return. So I encourage you to check that out in our resource center on magnetforensics.com. Reviewing this data in Axiom has many benefits, like I said. For example, it's super easy to review chat data from your warrant return. So I'm going to switch to conversation view. And you can see that these chat records, once they load, um, they're now going to be threaded together for a really simple review. And you can also uh, have this nice visual chat bubbles over here in the preview. Also, as I mentioned before, if you have additional evidence sources loaded in, like a hard drive or a mobile device, you can analyze them all together using features in Axiom like connections or timeline. So just as an example, I'm going to apply a relative time filter on this timestamp associated with this chat record. I'm just going to give it a three minute uh, time range before and after. And I'll switch over to timeline view, and you can immediately see that we're able to correlate and analyze timestamp data from both an iOS device that's loaded in my case, as well as uh, data from the Instagram warrant return. Finally, I want to note that we're able to add this warrant return data uh, support in Axiom because of our amazing customers who have been able to share data with us to build these features. So thank you to those who have shared. Again, we know these returns can contain sensitive data, so if you're able to share any redacted warrant returns, we would really appreciate it and would of course keep it confidential. This allows us to continue to be able to uh, parse warrant return data so that you can review and analyze information easily in your Axiom cases. We hope you see the benefit of analyzing your Instagram warrant return data in Axiom, and we hope you utilize these features in your casework. Thanks for watching.